What do we know so far from uh, the incident, from the time we heard uh, that uh, this happened? Well, we, uh, from what we know from police is that uh, just before 8 o'clock uh, this morning, uh, while Pete Mahalik was dropping his two children at the Redham uh, Atlantic uh, Seaboard School this morning, two shots were fired uh, at the driver of their car, instantly king killing uh, Pete Mahalik then. Uh, we do know later, or we understand that uh, police then have uh, taken in a, a suspect earlier uh, or this morning at around 10 o'clock this morning and are currently holding that person for questioning. Now, there's no details on whether this person will be charged for the murder of, uh, of, uh, of Pete Mahalik or whether he will just be, uh, be questioned by police. But we do know that this suspect could be held uh, by police for at least 48 hours before he, he or she would have to be, be charged. At, at this moment, police are still remaining mum on, on the circumstances of that suspect, but we're hoping to hear, find out more details from police on just who was who is being detained and what questions are being sought from this person now I mean his list of previous clients reads like the who's who of Cape Town uh, gangster underworld mm. That's right. Uh, Pete Malik was somewhat of a celebrity lawyer. He dealt with various high-profile cases from that of the underworld to, to uh, that of, of, uh, of high-flying business people. We do know that up until recently he was uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the lawyer uh, of, of business, businessman Jason Ruder, who was currently on trial for the murder of, of, of his wife. We do know uh, that, uh, uh, that Pete Malik recently had left that case. But Pete Malik has been involved in, uh, in, in high-profile underworld cases ranging from Hard Living's leader Rashid Stucky all the way to, uh, to uh, Donkey uh, Boyson. We do know he currently has been involved in, in, in cases uh, regarding the Cape Town underworld. Uh, but police at this stage aren't drawing any conclusion as to the motive. What can give us a hint, though, is that a senior investigators from Cape Town's gang unit were on the scene uh, of of the shooting this morning that does give the inference that police are connecting this morning's shooting uh, to, uh, to Pete Mahalik's most recent cases involving high-flying gang leaders in the Western Cape.